Icebergs. By now, we are all familiar with how iceberg videos work, and this is an iceberg about Greek mythological monsters. At the top layer of the iceberg, we have the poster boys of Greek monsters. Even if you possess only a basic understanding or minimal knowledge of Greek mythology, you are likely to recognize some of these prominent monsters. As we delve deeper into the iceberg, we encounter progressively lesser known monsters. Some Greek monsters are rich with lore, nuance, and or the effect they had on ancient Greece and the modern day world, while others are lacking in these aspects. But that shouldn't be any trouble because I'll only give a brief description about each entry on this list. The goal is to give a description of the monster and a brief outline of the role they played in the story or stories if applicable. It's important to note that this list does not include gods, titans, demigods, or heroes. The focus is specifically on mythological monsters. Individual monsters belonging to a particular species are not given separate entries, although I will include a few exceptions, only because that monster has a distinct attribute about themselves which separates them from other members of the species that they belong to. While I compiled as many Greek mythological monsters as I could, I'm not covering every single one since that would make this list obscurely long. These are just the ones that I find to be the most interesting, so feel free to modify this as you please. And just a quick heads up that I may pronounce some of these names wrong. And one last thing, I would appreciate if you like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. I put a lot of work into this, so thank you. And with that out the way, let's begin. Medusa. There is no better way to start this iceberg than with Medusa arguably the most well-known of all the Greek monsters. Medusa was originally depicted as always have being a monstrous being. However, it was later implemented that Medusa was once a maiden. Poseidon would force himself on Medusa while in Athena's temple. Athena was outraged, thus transforming Medusa into the monster we know of today. Medusa is depicted as having snakes for hair and possessed the power to turn anyone who looked into her eyes into stone. Medusa met her demise at the hands of the hero Perseus, who beheaded her. Some accounts claim he used a mirror shield to avoid direct eye contact, while others say Perseus slew Medusa in her sleep. Perseus gave Medusa's head to Athena, where she placed it into her shield. Minotaur The Minotaur was a creature with the head of a bull and the body of a man. It was born when King Minos' wife, Queen Pasiphae, fornicated with the Cretan bull. King Minos was disgusted by this abomination, as he found it as a disgrace to himself. As the Minotaur grew older, it became more violent, and its only source of food was humans. In order to contain the Minotaur, King Minos commissioned Daedalus to build a labyrinth to trap the Minotaur, who feasted on human sacrifices. Theseus ventured into the labyrinth, and defeated the Minotaur with the help of Ariadne's guidance and a thread to guide him through the labyrinth. Cyclops Cyclops were one-eyed giants known for their craftsmanship, and they forged Zeus's thunderbolts, Hades' helm, and Poseidon's trident. They were the offsprings of Uranus and Gaia, but Uranus found them disgusting, so he imprisoned them in Tartarus. Zeus freed them in the war between the Titans and the gods, and their creation of godly weapons aided the Olympians in their victory. After the war, the elder Cyclops stayed in the forges of Hephaestus, where they continued to forge weapons for the gods. Cerberus Cerberus was a monstrous three-headed dog with a mane of snakes and a tail composed of serpents. It guarded the entrance of the underworld, and it was the offspring of Typhon and Echidna. Cerberus was so ferocious that even the gods themselves feared it. Cerberus allowed souls to enter the realm of the dead, but prevented them from leaving. In one of his labors, Heracles was tasked with capturing Cerberus alive with his bare hands, demonstrating his strength and courage. He brought Cerberus to Aristheus before returning it back to the underworld. Pegasus Pegasus was a magnificent winged horse, born from the blood of Medusa when she was slain by Perseus. Pegasus became a symbol of grace and beauty. With its ability to fly, Pegasus became a loyal companion to Bellerophon, helping him in his quest to slay the Chimera. Bellerophon used Pegasus to fly to Olympus, but Zeus struck them with a thunderbolt. Bellerophon fell from Pegasus, while Pegasus went on to become the carrier of Zeus's thunderbolts. Centaur Centaurs possessed the upper body of a human and the lower body of a horse. They were known for their wild and untamed nature. Among the famous centaurs was Chiron, who was renowned for his wisdom and tutored many Greek heroes, including Achilles and Jason. However, not all centaurs were wise and noble. 
as some were notorious for their violent and unruly behavior. Griffin A griffin is a creature with the body of a lion and the head and wings of an eagle. They were believed to be the guardians of treasure and protectors of divine beings. Griffins were associated with strength, courage, and vigilance. In mythology, they were known for guarding deposits of gold. Phoenix a bird that was said to live for hundreds of years before bursting into flames and being reborn from its ashes. It was the size of an eagle, with feathers composed of reds, oranges, and yellows, giving them a flame-like appearance. At the end of its life, it would build a nest, then lay in it, then set itself on fire. A new phoenix would be born from the ashes, thus repeating the cycle. Typhon Typhon was a monstrous creature born from the union of Gaia and Tartarus. Typhon is the father of nearly all Greek monsters. He was a massive and fearsome being with a man-like appearance from the waist up, two coiled serpents for legs, a pair of wings, and a hundred heads, one which was a human head and the ninety-nine were the heads of different beasts. His breath was hot enough to melt mountains and had the voice of a thousand creatures roaring. Typhon challenged the gods, and all but Zeus fled from him. Typhon defeated Zeus in their initial fight, but with the aid of Hermes and Pan, Zeus managed to regain his strength. Typhon was defeated and imprisoned in the volcano, Mount Etna. It is said when Mount Etna erupts, it is caused by Typhon's rage and attempts to escape. Hydra The Hydra was a fearsome serpent with multiple heads, typically depicted as nine or more. What made the Hydra particularly dangerous was its regenerative abilities. When one of its heads was severed, two more would grow back in its place. This posed to be a great challenge for Heracles, who faced the Hydra as part of his twelve labors. With the help of his nephew, Heracles managed to defeat the Hydra by cauterizing the neck stumps to prevent further heads from growing. After its defeat, Hera placed the Hydra amongst the stars as part of the constellations. Chimera the Chimera was a monstrous creature with the body of a lion, the head of a goat arising from its back, and a serpent for a tail. It had the power to breathe fire, and its tail was venomous. Bellerophon, aided by Pegasus, was tasked with slaying the Chimera. With the help of the goddess Athena, Bellerophon succeeded by mounting Pegasus and attacking the creature from above, eventually dispatching it with his spear that had a piece of lead tied to it. Once the Chimera breathed fire, he threw his spear into the Chimera's mouth causing the lead to melt and suffocate the Chimera to death. Satyr Nowadays, satyrs are known for their half-human, half-goat appearance. However, they were originally depicted as humans with the ears and tail resembling that of a horse. They were often depicted as playful and mischievous, with a love for music, dancing, and revelry. Satyrs were often associated with the god Dionysus and frequently featured in celebrations and festivals dedicated to wine and fertility. The oddest thing about the satyrs is that depictions of them in ancient Greece are always gives them large, erect penises. This is because satyrs were said to always have a permanent erection. They were also known to attempt to have sex with any animal and woman they could find. Nemean Lion The Nemean Lion was a gigantic and invulnerable lion. Its golden fur was impervious to most weapons. As one of his twelve labors, Heracles was assigned the task of slaying the Nemean lion. Unable to pierce its hide with his weaponry, Heracles eventually strangled the lion to death using his bare hands. The Nemean lion's hide became a prized trophy and served as Heracles' impenetrable armor. Charybdis Charybdis was a mythological sea monster, often described as a sea creature with a giant mouth full of razor-sharp teeth capable of creating massive whirlpools. According to legend, Charybdis dwelled in the narrow strait of water opposite to the monster, Celia. The two monsters posed a deadly threat to passing ships. Charybdis would swallow vast amounts of water, creating a powerful vortex that would pull in and destroy anything caught in its grasps. Sailors had to navigate the strait carefully to avoid these treacherous waters. Celia Celia was a fearsome sea monster with the upper body of a woman six dog heads around her waist, twelve tentacle-like legs, a fish tail, and six necks with grisly heads and sharp teeth. She inhabited a rocky cliff across from Charybdis, making the strait a perilous passage for ships. As vessels tried to avoid Charybdis, they would risk being attacked by Celia, who would snatch sailors from their ships and devour them. Gorgon 
The Gorgons were a group of monstrous creatures with snakes for hair and a gaze that could turn mortals to stone. The most famous of the Gorgons was Medusa, whose story has been mentioned earlier. There were two other Gorgons that were Medusa's sisters. The oldest sister's name is Steno, and the middle sister's name is Eurylee. Steno and Eurylee were said to be immortal, while their sister Medusa was not, which is why she was given her own separate entry. This begs the question, why was Medusa not immortal unlike her sisters? Well, it's never directly stated, and it's left to speculation. Harpy Harpies were winged female creatures with the upper body of a woman and the lower body of a bird. They were known for their swift flight and their ability to snatch fruit from the hands of humans. Food wasn't the only thing these creatures were known for snatching. They would also snatch humans and carry them away. Harpies were associated with storm winds and were often depicted as agents of divine punishment. Sphinx The Sphinx was a creature with the head of a human, the body of a lion, and the wings of an eagle. They were known for their riddles in mysterious nature. The most famous encounter with the Sphinx occurred in the myth of Oedipus. The Sphinx guarded the city of Thebes and posed a riddle to anyone who wished to pass. The riddle goes as what walks on four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs in the evening. Those who failed to answer the riddle were devoured. Oedipus managed to answer correctly, which was man. A baby crawls on all fours, an adult walks on two legs, and two legs plus a cane when they're old. This caused the Sphinx to throw itself off a cliff and die, thus freeing the city of Thebes from it. Siren Sirens were seductive, enchanting creatures with the upper body of a woman and the lower body of a bird. Through the progression of time, sirens have been depicted as mermaids as well. In mythology, they were handmaidens of Persephone until she was taken to the underworld by Hades. Their mesmerizing voices and irresistible songs lured sailors towards their rocky shores, leading to shipwrecks and death. These alluring creatures were known for their captivating melodies and their ability to ensnare the hearts of men. Odysseus encountered the sirens during his journey, and he ordered his men to plug their ears with wax to resist their enchanting songs. Gigantes The Gigantes, also known as the Giants, were a race of enormous and powerful beings who were the offsprings of Gaia and Uranus. They were often depicted as having multiple arms and legs. Some other depictions of them give them snake appendages for legs. In Greek mythology, what made them so formidable was that they could not be killed unless an immortal and mortal were to slay them together. This ultimately allowed the gods to triumph, and after they did, the Gigantes were banished to Tartarus. Caucasian Eagle The titan Prometheus gave fire to humanity, and as punishment for his actions, Zeus bound Prometheus and had the Caucasian Eagle feast on his liver. However, after the bird would leave, Prometheus' injuries would heal, and the Caucasian Eagle would come back the next day to feast once more. It was a never-ending cycle until Heracles came along, who sought to end it, and so he killed the Caucasian Eagle. Chrysomalus Chrysomalus, also known as the Golden Fleece, was a flying golden ram. It played a crucial role in the story of Phrixus and Helle. The two siblings were going to be used as sacrifices until Chrysomalus came to their rescue. Phrixus and Helle mounted the back of Chrysomalus and were carried through the sky, flying over treacherous lands and sea. However, during their flight, Helle lost her grip and fell into the sea. Phrixus, on the other hand, safely reached the land of Colchis. Phrixus sacrificed Chrysomalus, and the Golden Fleece would be protected by the Colchis dragon. Echidna Echidna was a half-woman, half-serpent creature known as the mother of all monsters. She was the mate of Typhon, and the mother of numerous famous monsters, including the Sphinx, Cerberus, the Chimera, and the Hydra. Echidna was a fearsome and formidable figure in Greek mythology, with her monstrous offspring wreaking havoc across the land. She resided in a remote cave where she would kill anyone who ventured too close. Argos the giant would challenge her and be the one to slay Echidna. Manticore Manticores had the body of a lion, the head of a human, and a tail ending in a cluster of deadly spikes or stingers. It possessed a voracious appetite and was known for its fierce nature. They were incredibly fast and agile, even capable of climbing trees. While they possessed many attributes that made them effective killers, the most frightening ability was that the manticore had the ability to mimic human speech. They would use this ability to lure their victims close enough so that they can kill them. Animals and humans alike were nothing but food to manticores. Hecatonkrees 
The Hecatonchres, also known as the 100-handed ones, were three monstrous beings with 50 heads and 100 arms each. They were the children of Uranus and Gaia and were banished to Tartarus alongside the Cyclops until they were freed by Zeus. They ended up playing a significant role in the battle between the Titans and the gods. The Hecatonchres assisted the gods by hurling a mass of rocks at the Titans. This helped secure their victory. The Hecatonchres would then go on to become the Wardens of Tartarus. Basilisk The Basilisk was a legendary creature often depicted as a serpent or a dragon, with the ability to petrify or kill with its gaze. Even a single drop of venom or a whiff of its breath was deadly. It was said to be born from an egg hatched by a serpent or a toad. Although it does have several weaknesses, these weaknesses include the odor of a weasel, the crow of a rooster, and finally, its own reflection. Cetus of Ethiopia It is described as a large sea serpent or whale. In the myth of Andromeda, Cetus was sent by Poseidon to ravage the kingdom of Ethiopia as punishment for Queen Cassiopeia for boasting her daughter is more beautiful than the sea nymphs. Andromeda was chained to a rock as an offering to appease the monster. But she was eventually rescued by the hero Perseus, who turned Cetus to stone using the severed head of Medusa. Hippocampus The Hippocampus was a creature with the upper body of a horse and the lower body of a fish. They were often said to pull the chariots for Poseidon and other sea gods and goddesses. They came into existence when Poseidon had the sea nymphs mate with his stallions. Grie The Grie were three sisters who shared one eye and one tooth among them. They were the daughters of the sea gods Porces and Ceto. The Griae were known for their old age and their wisdom, although they were also depicted as sinister and mysterious. In the myth of Perseus, he sought their help to find the location of Medusa's lair, and he managed to steal their eye to force them into revealing the information he needed. Ladon Ladon was a 100-headed dragon which guarded the golden apples in the Garden of Hesperides. In the myth of Heracles, the hero was assigned the twelve labors, and one of them was to obtain the golden apples, and there exist two versions how he managed to obtain the apples. The first is that Heracles killed the Ladon by shooting arrows dipped in Hydra blood. The second version is that Heracles employed the help of Atlas to kill the Ladon while Heracles helped the world. Talos a mechanical giant composed of bronze created by either Hephaestus or Zeus, depending on the version you go with. It was given the duty to protect Europa in Crete. A single vein ran from its neck to its ankle, allowing it to sustain itself. It also had the power to heat itself up. So far, Talos seems like an unstoppable killer robot, but its weakness resided in its ankle. Talos had all of its fluid drained from its foot, thus killing it. Arachne Arachne was a mortal weaver who boasted that her weaving skills surpassed those of Athena herself. This resulted in a showdown between Arachne and Athena to see who was the superior at weaving. When the contest concluded, Athena examined both tapestries and acknowledged Arachne's exceptional talent. However, in a fit of anger, Athena destroyed Arachne's tapestry and transformed her into a spider, condemning her and her offspring to weave for eternity. Ichthyocentaurs. The Ichthyocentaurs were sea creatures with the upper body of a human and the lower body of a horse, and a fish tail. Unfortunately, not much is known about Ichthyocentaurs, but we know a pair of Ichthyocentaur brothers named Aphros and Bythos. They were the brothers of the centaur Chiron. Like Chiron, it is said that Aphros and Bythos were wise teachers. Nymph. The nymphs were female nature spirits often depicted as maidens that are personifications of nature that are tied to a specific place or landform. Nymphs are said to be goddesses, which should disqualify them from this list. However, they are considered creatures that are below the gods and goddesses. Nymphs can be broken down into further subspecies, such as the Melea, which are ash tree nymphs, the Dryads, which are oak tree nymphs, the Naiads, which are freshwater nymphs, the Nereads, which are sea nymphs, and the Oreads, which are mountain nymphs. All of them are immortal, except the Dryads. Dryad Dryads are oak tree nymphs, who are said to be shy creatures except around Artemis, who was known for befriending many nymphs. The reason Dryads were the only nymphs that are not immortal is because their life force is tied to the tree which they reside in. If the tree dies, then so does the Dryad. 
Dryads usually live in sacred groves of the gods, and anyone who dared harm a sacred tree without the blessing of the Dryads would be punished by the Dryads and the gods. The Erymanthian Boar The Erymanthian Boar was a gigantic and ferocious boar with sharp tusks and sharp hair. As part of Heracles' fourth labor, he was tasked to bring the creature alive to Eris Theseus. Heracles first chased the boar with shouts, and thereby routing it from a certain thicket, and then drove the exhausted animal into a deep snow. He then trapped and chained the boar before bringing it back to Eris Theseus. Eris Theseus was so terrified when Heracles brought him the boar that he hid himself in a bronze vessel. Orthros Orthros was a two-headed dog with the tail of a serpent and pretty much the inferior version of Cerberus. It was the pet of the giant Gerion, who tasked it with protecting his cattle. Orthros was a ferocious creature who made no haste to attack Heracles. However, Heracles killed it with a single strike from his club. Gerion Gerion was a monstrous giant with three heads, six arms, and a body composed of three conjoined bodies. He possessed a herd of magnificent red cattle that were guarded by Orthros. Heracles was tasked with retrieving Gerion's cattle as one of his labors and was instantly attacked. Gerion and Heracles had a fierce battle, but Gerion's wounds would heal. This gave Heracles the idea to kill all three bodies in quick succession. Heracles launched his arrows into the heart of each body thus killing Gerion. Caucus, a fire-breathing giant that lived in the cave of Aventine Hill. His distinctive feature was his ability to exhale fire, which he used to guard his stolen treasures and prevent anyone from approaching his lair. After Heracles retrieved the cattle from Gerion, Caucus sneakily stole them from under Heracles' nose. Realizing that some of the cattle had been taken, Heracles searched for the thief and confronted Caucus in his cave. A fierce battle ensued, with Caucus breathing fire and Heracles hurling rocks. Heracles won by strangling Caucus to death. The Cretan Bull The Cretan Bull was a magnificent white bull sent by Poseidon as a test to King Minos of Crete. Poseidon gave King Minos the bull in order to sacrifice it, but King Minos was too enamored by the bull to do so. Instead, he sacrificed a regular bull, which enraged Poseidon. Poseidon caused the bull to become violent, as well as making King Minos' wife fall in love with the bull, causing her to mate with it, thus giving birth to the Minotaur. It was eventually subdued by Heracles. Cyrenian Hind The Cyrenian Hind was a sacred deer with golden antlers and hooves of bronze. It was a prized possession of the goddess Artemis and was known for its incredible speed and agility. Heracles was assigned the task of capturing the hind as part of his labors. He didn't want to harm the creature because of how sacred it was to Artemis. It took Heracles an entire year to capture it, and after he captured it, he let it go. Ophiotoros The Ophiotoros was a creature with the upper body of a bull and the lower body of a serpent. It possessed the ability to grant immense power to whoever killed it and sacrificed it. The Ophiotoros played a role in the battle between the gods and the titans, where it was sought after by both gods and titans for its potential power to end the war. It would end up in the hands of Zeus, who sacrificed it. Scorpio A giant scorpion who was sent by Gaia to kill Orion when she noticed there was a decrease in the planet's animal life. The Scorpio was sent to kill Orion because Orion wanted to impress Artemis, so he vowed that he would hunt and kill every animal. The opponents killed one another in combat. Artemis was saddened by the death of her friend, so she raised the Scorpio's and Orion's body into the stars. They then became part of the constellations. Carcanos Carcanos was a giant crab sent by the goddess Hera to hinder Heracles during his battle with the Hydra. It snapped at Heracles' foot, but was ultimately defeated when Heracles stomped on the beast. In order to pay respects to the Carcanos, Hera added it to the constellations, where it would be known as Cancer. Colchian Dragon The Colchian Dragon guarded the Golden Fleece in the land of Colchis, and it was said this creature never slept. It was the last obstacle Jason had to face if he wanted to obtain the Golden Fleece. Depending on the version of the story, Jason obtained the fleece by slaying the Colchian dragon, or it was put to sleep from a potion made by Medea. 
In either version or a complete different version of the story, Jason was devoured by the Colkian dragon before being upchucked and slaying the dragon. Python A dragon-like serpent that was born after the flood of the earth. It was instructed by Gaia to guard the Oracle of Delphi, which the ancient Greeks believed to be the center of the earth. When Zeus fornicated with Leto, she became pregnant with Apollo and Artemis. Out of jealousy, Hera sent the python to kill Leto before she could give birth. When Apollo was grown and learned of his mother's struggle, he ventured to kill the python. Apollo vanquished the python by shooting it with arrows, then established his temple in Delphi. Lamia Lamia was a female creature associated with the devouring children. She was originally a beautiful queen of Libya, loved by the god Zeus. However, due to the jealousy of Zeus's wife Hera, Lamia was cursed with madness and transformed into a monster. Her physical form changed, and she became a creature with the upper body of a woman and the lower body of a serpent. Since she was known for devouring children, she was the equivalent to the modern day boogeyman, a creature used to warn children to behave or else said creature will get them. The Colchis Bulls the Colchis bulls were a pair of fire-breathing automatons that took the appearance of bulls, which were gifted to King Aetus. King Aetus set them as one of the three challenges for Jason and the Argonauts. Jason was tasked to yoke the Colchis bulls, and he used them to plow the fields. With the help of Medea, King Aetus' daughter, she gave Jason a potion which allowed him to withstand the heat of the bulls, thus completing the challenge. Giganes a tribe of violent giants with the six arms. When Jason and the Argonauts landed on the island where the Giganids resided, their force was split in two. One of the divided forces was attacked by the Giganids. Heracles was among the Argonauts at the time, so he and the Argonauts fought off the Giganids long enough for Jason and the other half of the Argonauts to return. This created an epic battle between Heracles, Jason and the Argonauts versus the Giganids. Jason and the Argonauts emerged victorious, slaying all Giganes who challenged them. Empusa Empusa was a female demon with one leg made of bronze and the other leg of that of a donkey. She also had the ability to shapeshift. She was known for seducing and preying upon men, feeding on their blood and flesh. Empusa was often depicted as a terrifying yet seductive figure. Stymphalian Bird the Stymphalian birds were large birds with the metallic feathers and beaks, capable of shooting deadly feathers at their opponents. They would eat humans as well as terrorize villages. They infested the Stymphalian marshes and were eventually eradicated by Heracles as part of his labors. The surviving birds fled to an island where they'd become known as the Birds of Ares. Argus Argus was a giant with 100 eyes across his entire body. He was Hera's greatest servant and was assigned to protect the goddess Isle, who had just been transformed into a cow. You see, Zeus was in love with Isle, and Hera was jealous. Zeus feared what Hera would do to Isle, so he transformed her as a cow. Argus kept half of his eyes open at all times, making him a formidable guard. Zeus sent Hermes to retrieve Isle, and Hermes put Argus to sleep with music, causing all of his eyes to shut. Hermes then proceeded to kill Argus. Distraught at the death of Argus, Hera showed her respects to her servant by placing his eyes on the tailed feathers of peacocks. Spartoi Spartoi were a group of warriors who were born from the earth, already fully grown and armed for battle from the sewn teeth of a dragon. It is said that Spartoi turned on each other and engaged in a violent battle until only five survived. These survivors became the noble families that would help shape the future of Thebes. Another batch was sewn by Jason and Colchis. He defeated them by casting a stone, causing the Spartoi to fight until they killed each other. Cercapes Cercapes were a pair of brothers, described as being mischievous forest creatures. It is said that they roamed the world and might turn up wherever there was mischief. They were liars and cheaters who once stole Heracles' weapons, so Heracles tied them to a shoulder pole with their heads pointing downwards. Their mother got Heracles to let them go if they returned his weapons but they were later turned to monkeys by Zeus. Caledonian Boar The Caledonian Boar was a large, monstrous boar sent by the goddess Artemis to wreak havoc on the land of Caledon. She let this creature loose onto the land because she was displeased that King Aeneas was neglecting her in the offerings of the fruits of the gods. 
The king gathered heroes from across Greece to kill the Caledonian boar, and it was eventually slain by the hero Meleager. Cromonian Sow The Cromonian Sow was a giant and ferocious boar that terrorized the region of Cromion. It was the man-eating pet of Phaea, and according to some sources, it was the parent of the Caledonian boar. It was eventually slain by Theseus. Enraged, Phaea attempted to avenge her pet, but Theseus killed her as well. Lycanin King Lycanin started off as a regular human, however he was a downright despicable person. One day, he invited Zeus to dinner, and he wanted to test to see if Zeus and all the gods were all-knowing. There's many ways you can test this theory, but King Lycanin chose to slaughter his own son and to feed him to Zeus without telling Zeus that he is eating a dead child. Enraged, Zeus went to ballistic when he found out killing all of King Lycanin's 49 children and transforming King Lycanin into the first werewolf, where King Lycanin would now spread the curse. Although, Zeus did feel bad for the child King Lycanin killed, so he brought him back to life. Animoi Thuo These are spirits that possess the ability to generate storms and winds. They were locked away by the divine keeper of winds, Elios, on the floating island, Aeolia. The only ones capable of freeing these spirits were the gods or Elios, who once gave Odysseus a bag of Enimoi to grant him a safe voyage home. Though his companions opened the bag, thinking it was gold, the Enimoi carried them back to the floating island. Ipatane Ipatanes are described to be a hybrid of a human and a horse. They have the upper body of a human and the lower body of horse legs. Although this sounds like a centaur, the key difference is that centaur's lower body is that of a horse and has four legs, while Ipatanis lower body only consists of two horse legs. It is said they have the ability to manipulate the weather by whistling. Kampe Kampe was a fierce monster with the upper body of a woman and the lower body of a dragon or sea serpent. She served as the Jailress of Tartarus, and it was her duty to keep the Cyclops and Hecatonchires imprisoned. However, she met her demise when Zeus learned that he could win the battle against the Titans if he were to make the prisoners in Tartarus his allies, and so he killed Kampe in order to free them. Telkines, A race of powerful beings with dog-like heads, seal-like bodies, and flippers for hands and feet. Their greatest attribute lay in their blacksmithery capable of creating magical objects. They even created the scythe Kronos would use to castrate Uranus. During the war between the Titans and the gods, the Telkines sided with the Titans, even creating a new weapon which killed countless plants and animals. Filled with rage, Zeus attacked them with his thunderbolts, and he banished them to Tartarus. Lalap and the Tumesian Fox Lalaps was a hound that was the prized possession of Zeus. Zeus gave the hound to Cephalus. Now, Lalap was incredibly fast, said to be able to catch any who were its prey. However, the only creature it could not catch was the Tumesian fox, a creature that was known for being uncatchable. When the city of Thebes insulted Dionysus, he unleashed the Tumesian fox to wreak havoc onto the city and devour children. Cephalus loaned Lalap to the city of Thebes to kill the Tumesian fox. This began Lalap's pursuit and the Tumesian fox's retreat, and this went on for years until Zeus grew tired of it and transformed them both to stone before placing them in the constellations. Lalap became Canis Major, and the Tumesian fox became Canis Minor. Hippolectrian Hippolectrian was a mythical creature with the front half of a horse and the rear half of a rooster. It was said that its colors vary between yellow and reddish. Unfortunately, there is not much we know about this creature, as there are no myths that mention it. Some interpret it to be a grotesque beast that was made to amuse children, while others believe it may be an early artistic version of the Pegasus. The idea of a horse-rooster hybrid sounds fantastic, and it's quite a shame we don't have any mythologies to go off for it. Makai The Makai, also known as the Battle Spirits, were spirits personifying war and combat. They were often portrayed as a fierce and bloodthirsty entities that accompanied and incited warriors on the battlefield. They embodied the destructive force and chaos of warfare. Other deities and spirits associated with war and death would appear on the battlefield with the Makai, such as Ares and Deimos, just to name a few. Chrysior Chrysior is the twin brother of Pegasus, and they were both born from the blood of Medusa once she was beheaded. Pegasus is a winged horse, while Chrysior is a winged boar, 
but sometimes Chrysler is depicted as a human warrior. Unfortunately, little is known about Chrysler, so the most interesting thing I can say about him is that his name translates to Golden Sword. Blemmy A tribe said to reside in Africa, described as having a unique physical appearance that set them apart from ordinary humans. According to ancient accounts, the Blemmy had no heads but instead had faces located on their chests. The Blemmy were often depicted as fierce and warlike beings. They were said to possess great strength and were skilled in combat, making them formidable adversaries. Eidolon Shape-shifting spirits of the dead who can take the appearance of the version of themselves when they were alive, or a ghostly apparition. Some believe that they were not actually spirits of the dead, but illusions created by the gods. They also can haunt or possess the living, as well as being summoned through necromancy and magic. Catoblepus, a large ox-like creature with a thin neck. Its head was so large and heavy that its neck was unable to support it, so it was always dragging across the ground. It wasn't particularly a fast creature, however, its poisonous breath was capable of killing all who would inhale it. Additionally, it is said that its meat was toxic, and whoever looked into the eyes of the beast would turn to stone. Odontu Tyrannos the Odontu Tyrannos is a creature said to have a horse-like head with three horns protruding from its forehead and exceeding the size of an elephant. It was undeterred by the sight of fire, killing 26 Macedonians and incapacitating 52 before being put down by thrusts of hunting spears. In another Greek depiction of this creature, it is said to be an amphibious carnivore that can devour an elephant. Tyrand, a beast that can change colors of its hair according to the place it is in. For this reason, it is difficult to catch, for it becomes the same color as the trees and the ground, and generally of the place in which it is in. But the changing of the color of the hair is most remarkable. Other creatures change their skin like the chameleon, but this animal is the size of an ox, but its head is of the same kind as a deer. Scolopendra Scolopendra is a sea-dwelling monster, said to be the largest sea creature in history, that was a cross between a lobster and a millipede. It had hairy nostrils which it could use to entangle its prey. Agrius and Aureus A pair of half-bear, half-human brothers who were born after their mother was driven mad and slept with a bear. They possessed immense strength, honored no gods nor men, and killed and ate anyone who they came across. This is befitting since their names translate to the Savage One and the Wild One. Zeus despised the bear humanoid brothers so much that he sent Hermes to deal with them any way he saw fit. Originally, Hermes was going to chop off their hands and feet, but Ares convinced him to transform them into birds which everyone disliked. Agrius was transformed into a vulture, while Aureus was transformed into an eagle owl. Amphisibena The Amphisibena was a serpent-like creature with a head at each end of its body. It possessed venomous fangs and was capable of spitting poison. The Amphisibena possessed a venomous bite and was known for its aggressive nature. The creature was said to be highly skilled at maneuvering and striking from unexpected angles, making it a formidable opponent. Just like Pegasus and Chrysior, it was born after Medusa was beheaded. Myrmidon The Myrmidons were ants transformed into humans and their origin begins when Hera created a plague to kill all the humans that inhabited the island Aegina. Hera brought forth this plague because she did not like that Zeus named the island after one of his lovers. The king of the island, Iacus, prayed to Zeus for help. The ants of the island were unaffected by the plague since they were not humans, so in response Zeus transformed them into the Myrmidons. The Myrmidons were known for being intensely loyal to their leader and even served under Achilles when they went to war with Troy. And with that, the iceberg is complete. If you want to see more videos like this, then be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next one. Later.